Amen. But I do appreciate the Bible tonight. The Romans chapter number 13. Uh, whenever you get to our say amen. Amen. We're going to read two different places here tonight. Amen. We'll start at verse number 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that are ordained of God, uh, whatsoever therefore resisteth the whosoever therefore resisteth the power resisteth the ordinances of God, Amen. and that they uh, that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. Uh, for rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Yes, uh, wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is right, and thou shalt have praise of the same. Yep. Uh, for he is a minister of God to thee for good. But yes, if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for yep. he beareth not the sword in vain. Uh, for he is a minister of God and a revenger to execute a wrath upon them that doeth evil. Uh, wherefore you must needs be subject uh, not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. And that's all we're going to read there. And turn over to the book of uh, Judges with me. Uh, Judges chapter number 19 tonight. Amen. With the help of the Lord, we're going to try to put all this together. And uh, you've been much prouder for me. Bless you, Amen. Lord. Judges chapter number 19. And Amen. We'll start here at verse number uh, uh, 20. And whenever you get there, say amen. 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 All right. And the old man said, uh, uh, Peace be with thee, who uh, howsoever let all thy wants lie uh, upon me, only lodge not in the street. So he, burned, he brought him into his house and gave provender unto the asses, and they uh, washed their feet and did eat and drink. And now as they were making their hearts merry, behold, the men of the city, a certain sons of Belial, that set the house round about and beat at the door, and spake to the master of the house, the old man, saying, Bring forth the man uh, that came into thy house, that we may know him. And the man, uh, the master of the house, went out unto them and said unto them, uh, Nay, my brethren, uh, nay, I pray you, do not so wickedly, as uh, seeing that this man is come into my house to do, uh, do not this folly. Behold, here is my daughter, a maiden, and his concubine. Uh, them will I bring out now, and humble ye them, and do with them uh, what seemeth good unto you. Uh, but unto this man do not so a vile thing. That's all we're going to read tonight. Amen. Hey, I want to preach on the thought tonight when the sword is taken away. Amen. When the Bless sword is taken away. And, amen. You've been much prayer for me tonight. But I thought about, amen, in the society that you and I, amen, are living in right now. Bless amen. In the country that you Bless and I Lord. were living in, amen, it seemed like times is that, amen, they're getting worse and worse. And if you live to see another day, Help amen, my friend, those things used to be out yonder. Amen. But now they're right here at amen. your doorstep. Amen. amen. The murder used to be out there in the city. But now it's right here in our country. Amen. Right here in Southwest Virginia. Amen. It seems like every day that you wake up. Amen. There's more bad news out there. Amen. It seems like there's not much good news anymore. Amen. But I want you to know today. Amen. When the sword is taken away, I want you to know right now. Amen. That it's a subject to get worse and worse and worse. Amen. When the country, amen, does not, amen, execute. You judgment on pains in this world. Uh, I'm talking about the evil man in this world. Amen. I know that we're living in the grace dispensation today. Amen. But yet, amen, God is to turn it back yonder. Amen. Capital in a capital punishment there. Amen. And my friend, it ain't out of stone. God did not change his mind. Amen. A man should shed blood. Amen. His blood should be right. shed today. Right. Amen. If the murder go out there. Amen. And murder. Amen. And it's up to somebody yes. and to the minister of God and thank God to take up the sword of the good soul that do evil but that's you and I thank God but that we would have a reverence of the day for the government and then you say that's we right. have to reverence the government I say yes we do but because God says that let every soul be subject but to the power of the Lord but because we're ordained of God but the wind we see right now, Amen. A godless government that they're taking the sword away uh, and they're expecting it to work out right. Amen. My friend, we need some judgment. 
Amen. In this land today, that we need some punishment. Amen. In our country That's today, right. That's right. Amen. And the thing that'll put a stop to it, the thing God has a sword, the thing God would be used again. Amen. Amen. The people of God, that we need a sword. Amen. In our life today, Amen. You're not a very good Christian today. Thank God if you ain't got a sword. Amen. 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 We know the Bible said, but take on the whole armor of God, but that you might be able to stand but the wiles of the devil. And having done all the stand, he said, Stand there, Lord. Yeah. 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 Have your loins dirty by the truth. Yeah. Have your feet shot in the preparation yeah. of the gospel, gospel. of peace. Yeah. And taking on the breastplate of righteousness. And thank God he said on that all. Yeah. But taking that shield of faith. Yeah. But that you might be able to yeah. quench the yeah. fiery yeah. doors. But thank God in that rich and war. And taking on the heaven of salvation. Yeah. And thank God he said. And then in having the sword. Yeah. Of which is the spirit. Yeah. And then the word of God today. Yeah. But without the word of God. That's and I think we won't have the rest of it. Yeah. Thank Somebody you, Lord. one day will step out of the portals of glory and visit a little old church. Yeah. And thank God so somebody that headed to a devil's yeah. hill. But then thank God he sent me Help and he clothed me and put me in my right mind and saved my soul today. Amen. 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 The devil is taken away. Amen. Everything that God has given us. Amen. To equip ourselves. Amen. Now in our land today. Amen. They put it out there. That this is a home. Amen. That has no defense. Amen. And thank God I want you to know today. Amen. I want to have defense on my house today. Amen. I was leaving church there not long ago. I laid my Bible down and the sister said, hey, Brother, you forgot your Bible. I said, Honey, it's all right. It's just like a gun. I got one in every room. Amen. Thank God that the devil that would like nothing more but to take away your defense. Uh -huh. And thank God we realize, amen, by the word of God and by the armor of God, Bless amen, Lord. all of it was defensive. But he gave us an offensive weapon, amen. amen, which was the sword, which was the living word of God. Right. It's by that word today that the psalmist said, that thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against God. And thank God it's by that word that thy God bailed below the crown of my head. Amen. They set me in the right mind. And it's kept me in a perfect peace. Right. And thank God it's by thank that God. word that that's put me apart. But from a lost and dying world that Jesus said I've come not that would bring peace upon this world. He said but I've come to bring a sword. And thank God we're going to have to pick a side. I read the back of the book and I said I want to stand the chorus and with God Almighty when it's all said and done. He said if you're going to stand the chorus you're going to have to come my way. Amen. I'm not trying to make another way to heaven. I'm just trying to remind folk today that there is only one way to heaven. That's right. Amen. 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 We're living in a world. Help them, Lord. Amen. There is no sword no more. Amen. We're living in a country. That there is no sword no more. Oh, amen. In my profession. Oh, amen. amen. I work for a probation office. Amen. We hold them to the letter. And a man told me this morning. He said, is there just anything y'all can do? I said, we do everything that we can do. But it don't do no good to send them over there. And the judge just will slap them on the wrist right. and put them out. And then my friend, I'm here to tell you. And then everybody's crying their rights. And my friend, we do have our rights. And then in this country, and then what I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. And we're living in a land right now. And they can parade the streets looking out there. Yeah. And nothing's done to them. Right. And then they can go out there. They can still kill and they can murder. Yeah. And there's nothing done to them. Right. I say we need a sword but back in our land today. But the, and then but the absence of it, and the devil sees that, he's going to come in and take it. And then turn it upside down. Amen. 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 I read to you in the book of Judges. Amen, it sounded like a lot. What was that 
happening down there in Sodom in the morning. Right, yeah. And when the Bible said that, oh Lord, and when he sat down there by the gate, and when every day, and when my friend were living right in the middle of it, and when I'm not a part of it, oh, and when we're right here we are. Amen, I mean, it was something that was used to be in. Amen, I mean, nobody talked about. Amen, I mean, but now it seems like it's everywhere. Amen, I mean, because I want to tell you right now. Amen, I mean, people is backed up on the stance of it. The people have quit preaching against it. Amen, I mean, it's still ungodliness. Amen, I mean, it's still a place called hell. Amen, I mean, for all that ungodly stuff. Amen, I mean, not just that. Amen, I mean, liars are there at all time high. Amen, I mean, nobody has a word no more. And then used to use to shake somebody's hand. And then it might mean something. And then now it don't mean nothing. I heard them swear by mommy's grave. I heard them swear on the children. And knowing good well there was a long term. And then we ain't got no sword no more. And then I want to tell you right now. And then I want to have a sword in my life. Help them all. see the effects of it. And then that God told us that they're a minister. And then not to those that do good. And then those that do evil. And then now we're sitting right now. We've got people that know not God. Help them all. And we're expecting them to make righteous judgment today. Amen. 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 It'll never happen. That's right. And then now. And when we see that old Sodom and Gomorrah, Help them, Lord. and then now those angels are coming down there, and the Bible said, Doth not, and when wisdom sat at the gate to make her cry, and then wisdom cries out, and when that means understanding tonight, and then I understand this world, and then it ain't going to get any better. And then, my friend, we just need to keep preaching. We need to keep saying the stand today. We need to keep swinging the sword. And then, which is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then, I'm so glad to hear tonight. And then, that somebody, and then, come by my way one day and saw me to preach unto me the gospel. And thank God the sword, my friend. And then, it killed my soul. And then, when God looked at me and said, You ain't good enough. But you ain't good enough. Enough, you'll never be good enough. I mean, hell is what you deserve. And hell is where you're headed. I mean, I've got something for you. I made a way back unto myself. Yeah. And thank God you was lost. I mean, but I found somebody that can find you. And you're in the pit of sin. I've got somebody that can reach you. Amen. And you're way out yonder. Yeah. But thank God he can hear today. I mean, and his arm is not too short. But then I cannot say it. That's right. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. You look at the world right now. Say you ain't good enough to get to heaven on your own. Kills their soul, don't it? Bless yeah. But now here we are. In the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes, oh God has constrained these men to come home with him. And the Bible said he puts them up in the house. It's a dangerous place to be right now in this world without hope and without God. Amen. Amen, because there is no sword. Amen, there is no defense in the government is what I'm saying. Amen, the only sword that we have, amen, at all now anymore is, amen, just a few churches here and there and yonder. Amen, but I'd like to say all of them, amen, have a sword, but not all of them do. Amen, right. some of them are just in it for the paycheck. Amen, some of them are just in it for, amen, maybe the political stance of it. Amen, some of them, amen, they started for the income. Amen, but my friend, I'm in it for the outcome of it. Amen, I'm ready to see it. God, what God has prepared has made God for those that wait upon Him. That because God promised in His Word that for they that wait upon the Lord that they shall renew their strength. That they shall mount up with wings as eagles. That they shall run and not be weary. That they shall walk and not faint. And thank God I want to know what that's like someday yeah. after a while. That God has told me that while we're in this world you're going to have to have a defense in this world. Amen. Amen. And the Bible said the men of Sodom. Bless the Lord. And when they've come to the door, and when those angels are on the other side of it, and when they're beating on the door, and the Bible said that old Lot has come, and when the Bible said that, 
that the men said, bring those men out here and that we might know them. And then my friend, they wouldn't want to have a cup of tea with them. But they was wanting to do something ungodly That's under right. those men. And you say, well, I'm glad it ain't like yeah. that. But my friend, it's just like yeah. that. And then matter of fact, I believe it's getting worse and worse and worse. And then they had fullness of bread down there. And then all the people think about yeah. it anymore. Yeah. And then it's what we're going to eat after church. Yeah. And then my That's friend, right. I want That's you to know right. right now. And then the people that they regret to see. That they work at those places. Hey Amen. It's the so called Christians. Yeah. And they ain't no satisfied with nothing. That's right. I want you to know right now. Hey Help them, Lord. It's the God's honest truth. If you yeah. can't be satisfied with what they make you, let's right. sit at the house and make it yourself. Hey Amen. Right. I want you to know right now. Hey Amen. That brings a reproach upon Help God them, Lord. and upon the church. Yeah. And I want nothing to do with it. Amen. 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 All of this stuff. Amen. 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 But now, amen, here in Sodom and Gomorrah, and the Bible said those angels smote their men with blindness. And the Bible said, here they was. Amen. Trying to find the door. Yeah. Amen. Walking blind. Amen. You think how scary that that is. Amen. They've been able to see all their life. Amen. They've come down to Sodom and Gomorrah. And Sodom and Gomorrah, it's been everything that they thought it would be. Uh, but now the day has changed. Amen. Now God has gotten fed up. And because the sword has been taken away. Amen. There is no judgment. Amen. The Bible said that every nation that forget God shall be turned into hell. Amen. I don't know much about hell. Amen. But one thing I do know, these are reaping and these are wailing. And there's a gnashing of teeth right now. Amen. I know that in our land right now, amen, there's weeping some words. And there's wailing some words. And there's gnashing of teeth some words. Amen. I want you to know it ain't good no better. Amen. It's going to be turned more and more and more. It's going to look more and more like a place called hell. It's going to sound more and more like at that place that Jesus preached about. That was called the lake of fire. Yeah. And when the fire is not quenched and the worm died by God. I'm telling you right now, nope. it ain't going to get no better. Nope. But it's going to get worse. But so you better prepare your heart and to go through it today. Amen. 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 We've told our people, you're going to get out before it gets too bad. That's the truth. They told our people that, and told our people that, and told our people that. Then trouble comes. They said, I didn't know I'd have to go for that. I was now come when you think about it. It was bad and it was real and it killed people. And it was so bad to some people they didn't see a need to come back. Yeah. I remember, I'm gonna tell you right now what God gave me. He didn't give me the spirit of fear. No. Hey Amen. Right. That's right. I ain't going to come here and purposely get somebody sick. I ain't going to do that. I'm sick. I got enough sense to stay at the house. Amen. But on the same hand, thank God, whenever it was time to come to church, it's time to come to church. Amen. Amen. God didn't save your soul and amen, call you to live life like a hermit crab. No. Amen. He called you to be a city set up on a hill. And thank God that cannot be hid. Amen. He called you to carry and bear the sword before this lost and dying world. Amen. You think about a sword and think about how bad times God. Amen. You say, when I was solid in the more, Amen. Amen. When I read to you in the book of Judges, it was down there in the land of Israel. Amen. The big and when they resulted unto that, that because judgment and the sword had been taken away, and when they had resulted in the Sodomy of another man, and there was ungodly things happening right in the camp of Israel. Amen. 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 We say it won't happen here. God. It's already happening here. Amen. It's already happening here. Right. Amen. We're living in a world right now. And then we've got casinos. Yeah. And all it brings is more sin and more death and more destruction. Amen. Just down the street from a casino, you got an abortion clinic. Yeah. Amen. I don't care. 
That one that's still murdered today. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Amen. That child Help has done Lord. nothing wrong. Right. Amen. But now the judgment system, you know what they've done? Amen. Amen. They say that they kill the child and let the, the rapist go through. Yeah. Amen. I say, let's That's have right. the rapist. Right. Amen. Amen. I, I'm telling Amen. you what the other God said. Amen. Amen. They Help tell you to stop put to this thing. Yeah. Amen. If blood is shed by another man, the government should kill that person. Amen. 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 That's, right. Amen. That's right. That's right. See, the... It's that all the time, huh? Thank them, Lord. I watched them in the courtroom. I've sat in jury trials. The man that took this young man out there in the back of the woods and shot him in the back of the head and took his life. And now he's going to sit in prison the rest of his yeah. days. Yeah. Play basketball. Hey, man. Yeah. That ain't popular nowadays. It ain't. What I read to you come from God. Yeah, man. Amen. You know, in God and the law, He didn't put up with nothing. They let nothing go. That's right. There's a man gathering sticks on the Sabbath one day. Yeah. And they took him out back and they stoned him. That's day. right. Amen. Amen. You know what God said about a disobedient child? Take him out back and stone him. Amen. 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 I know we're living in grace today. Amen. Amen. But God still gave us Romans 13. And still give us that That's sword. Job, yeah. Amen. But the government has forsaken their God given Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Bless them, Lord. For filthy lucre's sake. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Amen. That's, That's right. right. That's good clergy. We hear about. Amen. A sword. Amen. You got a sword that's going to cost you today. Oh, John the Baptist. That God, he had a sword. Yeah. He used his sword. Mm -hmm. We know over here. Amen. He had a brother named Philip. Had a wife named Rose. Oh, yeah. And the Bible said that old John the Baptist. And old Herod, he thought a lot of John the Baptist. He did. Amen. Thought the world of that man. He surely did. Amen. He loved to hear him preach. Amen. He loved to see everything that old John was adoring. Amen. The Bible said that one day. And then old Herodias had a quarrel against old John the Baptist because, and then he told old Herod, it's not lawful for thee to have thy brother's wife. And then that ain't popular now, that no more now. Now yeah, divorce is cool. the most popular thing Come on, in the world. Right. 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 So my friend, it's still sin today. That's right. And God yeah. have joined together Amen. and no man put asunder. Amen. Amen. Bless him, Lord. But now we're living in a land, neighbors. Remember everything that Hollywood does. Yeah. Yeah. Hollywood take it hell. Yeah. Amen. Hollywood keep you away from God. Amen. 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 You see what they do over there. Yeah, Everything's right. mocking Christianity. Yeah. yeah. Amen. That's because yeah. a bunch of Christians become a bunch of teddy bears. Amen. 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 That's right. I tell you what. Bless Amen. Amen. We need some people that will stand up and call it what it is. Amen. Amen. I'm not saying it's not bad. I'm not invoking violence on nobody. But I'm saying, thank God, what the word of God says. I'll stand behind it. Help Amen. Me. Because I know if nobody else will stand up with me, God will stand by me. Help Amen. 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 But God will give me the strength to stand and to preach the word of God. And the Bible said in the land of Israel, Amen, Moses was out there. And the Bible said that they was a horror after Baal Pure. And the Bible said that God, He said, Moses, here's what I want you to do. He said, There's a plague in our land that they, they befriend the children of Satan. And here's what I want you to do. He said, Take their heads. Out their shoulders. Yeah. You put them on a staff. That the anger of God might be turned away from Israel. And the Bible said there was a man named Phineas, the son of Eliezer, which was the son of Aaron. Thank God they passed something down to the younger generation. And the Bible said while they was down there, one of the men of Israel, he got one of the many not women. Amen. He brought her right there before the whole congregation of Israel. Amen. They started laying down there was a form that came. Amen. Old Phineas said, Amen. Not my presence. Amen. He got him a job and he took it and put it right through him. Amen. He had to nail it down. I'm here to tell you today, you've got to nail it down. If God calls it sin, it is sin. Amen. Amen. It will not change. Amen. We know that. Amen. There's no more sacrifice to be made. But because Jesus is the ultimate sacrifice, but the God's moral law has not changed. Right. What he thought about it back yonder, he still thinks the same thing about it right now. Amen. 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 But now, amen. They say we 
well, I listened to them. Blessing God. They said, yeah, you've got to obey the laws of the land. The laws of the land tells us it's okay to do all these things. Yeah. It goes against God's word. It don't obey. It'll always right. be wrong. That's, That's right. right. Amen. It don't matter what the law of the land says. That's right. Amen. If God calls it sin, it's sin. Amen. If God has condemned it, don't do it for me and you to try to make it good and right anymore. Amen. But thank God for a sword today. Amen. But now, the world will do anything against Christ and His church. Amen. And then the world gets mad because. We get, we get upset about it. Yeah. Why don't they go pick on somebody else? Yeah. You know why they don't do that, right? Because yeah. the devil knows that Jesus is the only way. Yeah. Amen. The devil knows that. Amen. And he knows what he's doing right now. Yeah. He knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah. But the Bible said that old Herodias, she had a poor amen, against the name of God. Yeah. The Bible said that old Herod, amen, he, he liked John. He loved to hear John preach and he loved to be entertained by John. The Bible said that old Herod one day, birthday time had come, and then she danced in front of him and it pleased the king. And then the king said, Ask me what, what you want. He said, I'll give it to you. Now, when a king spoke, the king had to, he had to deliver what he said. She said, Give me the head of John the Baptist on a charger. You know what he had to do? He had to do that. Because what he said, he had to fall through with it. I want you to know right now, Bless you, Lord. our land is getting in dangerous times because our land and our government are failing to do what God has told them to do. And you know what? Every judge that ever stands in and does not do what God has told them to do will answer for it. You believe that? I believe that. I believe with life is responsibility. I believe if we're responsible for people's lives, if we're responsible for our loved ones, about witnessing to them and telling them about the Lord, if we forsake to do that, I, if blood is going to be required at our hands, and I wonder how much more do you think God's going to hold them accountable? And if it has a place of power, amen, for filthy lucre's sake, amen, just. We won't worry about that. Yeah. We just let it get worse and worse and worse. And the attitude is, as long as it don't happen to me, it's all right. But friend, it's going to come to your doorstep one of these days. It's going to come to my doorstep Amen. one of these days. Amen. It's already been at my doorstep. And you know what? I have a feeling it'll just get more and more. We're living in a world right now that little children Mommies and daddies ain't got, ain't got a bit of compassion on them. Ain't no natural Amen. affection no more. Amen. They're killing them. Yeah. Amen. They're, they're taking their lives. Yeah. And now they go in front of the judge and they'll get two or three years. Ain't that sad? Yeah. Ain't that sad? Yeah, it is. Ain't that sad? Is that wrong? That's, yeah. yeah. That's wrong, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm asking questions tonight. Yeah. But you know what? We're going to have to agree. Yeah. We're going to have to get back to this. Amen. Amen. This is the only thing that's going to protect you. Protect your church and protect your life and protect your soul. This is all you've got. You better pick it up. You better start slaying it. I'm talking about something to defend yourself. Yeah. And we're to love this lost and dying world. That's how God told them to do it back up. God's not told you to go out and kill nobody. I've not said that. But I'm saying God did call you to stand and stand on the truth of God. Amen. It ain't up to me or you to take a life. Amen. It's up to the government to do that. Amen. But the government has forsaken that. We see the mess that it's making right now. When the sword is taken away, Amen. the devil sees that and he exploits that. It's going to get worse, friend. Prepare your hearts. You know what the Bible said? The Bible said that men's hearts would fail them for, fear. for the fear of the things yeah. that are coming up on the earth. Yeah. It's preparing time, man. Yeah. I say church is like a boot camp. God don't want you to go out there unprepared and not ready. He wants you to be well aware of what's going to happen. Yeah. Evil men and seducers shall act worse and worse. Amen. Deceiving and being deceived. Yeah. That's like me and Rob, we heard a man, he said, well, 
Now, he said, I heard a man say one time, if that ain't deceived, say, well, if you love you wouldn't know you. <laughs> yeah. The only way you can know you're not deceived is by that right there. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to compare your life with that right there. Yeah. You've got to compare your profession with that right there. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Yeah. We came his way. I didn't come my way. I was lost and I was undone. Yeah. But I called upon him. I believed upon him. And he saved my soul. He forgave me of my sin. Amen. He's made me a child of God. Amen. He's given us a sword today. We're going to have to use it. We're going to have to pick it up because everybody else is forsaken. Amen. Amen. Good for you. Amen. 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 Amen.